Hello, my name is Nathan Beckwood, and today I am going to give you reviews of my all time favorites. Elf in Line, Where Should I Begin? A Woman Named Lucy. She been this asylum from ever since she was young and captured throughout the killings that she did in the festival. However, she breaks out of the facility, walking through a hallway, dismembering each and everybody's limbs that is trying to stop her. A trail of bodies that she leaves. These girls are born to put a stop a humankind. She moves things with her mind and slices through object and bone and flesh. Death Note is an anime. It all starts out with a book falling out of the sky. Once it touches the earth, when a person picks it up and writes a person's name in the notebook, that person shall die. While you're thinking of the person's face while you're writing. Even though, with them having a heart attack, you could just write the cause, and also there would be the god of death, a shimigami on your side. Avatar the last airbender, there was this avatar, he left home, he got frozen in a block of ice, but this woman Gatara rescued him and he discovered that he was the avatar and he also has to learn all four elements to defeat the Fire Lord before the comet arrives. The Fire Nation are these evil, wicked people that is just trying to put everything on them. Saying that everything is theirs by taking it away from all the nations and keeping them in prisoner. We turn to Neverland. These are the kids in the orphanage. This woman watches over the whole pack. However, this is not an orphanage that you will address so quickly. As the woman leaves with a child, thinking that she is gonna get a new home, you are wrong because the woman feeds it to the monsters. Because humans long ago lost towards the war of the monsters, so they own the planet now. So once a child reaches a certain age, it has to be fed towards the monsters. So every kid in the orphanage has a plan to escape. There's walls around the orphanage. And there's a steep hole and a cliff on the other side for their escape. They have to plan a really good one, probably some kind of rope that they have to shoot towards the other side of the cliff to escape. They have to all plan together or they will just die there. The Green Mile. The Green Mile is this prisoner that got locked away by killing two ch children, but he didn't. Someone planned it all along by t getting him to take the fall. Anyways though, he has this amazing power that he could get a woman to erase her cancer and get people to live longer lifespans. He is a healer. They all discovered it towards the end but they had no choice but to put him in death. Avatar. This guy in a wheelchair, he's taken to the base of a different planet. However, he discovers his avatar and they sent his soul from his body towards the avatar from a lab. Anyways, he works with the other soldiers by trying to figure out how 
to get the avatars to do the right decision so there would be no war. Once he leaves, though, they discover in a day or two that he is at the tree, and he falls in love with the princess, the avatar girl. Many other problems occur, but they fight for their freedom. They. Have you ever heard of Stranger Things? Well, there was a movie before that, and it was called They. It was this woman that was riding a bicycle across the city. Anyways, though, off of subject. These people, however, they were kids too. And there was this monster looking at them at night behind the closet. Anyway, some kids escaped, but some of them got taken away towards the other realm and killed. Anyway, they placed a bone into their skin so they could track the humans wherever they are, they could get them. Anyways, a poor tragedy happened towards this last female at the end. I'm sorry to spoil it, but she couldn't get out of the realm once they yanked her out from existence and killed her when the doctors were trying to find her. Candyman, a black guy with a hook. If you say his name five times in the mirror, he will come after you and gut you with his hook. The old days, how they pronounce it, was there was this guy, deeply in love with this girl, got her pregnant, then was running throughout the forest. Anyways, the whites, uh, caught him. It wasn't too fast, poor candy man. They smeared honey all over his body, cut his right arm off with a rusty blade, knowing that he was an artist of knowing that he would be sad and in shame. Anyway, the beast stung him. Kid tasted the honey and called him Candyman. Everybody started, Candyman, Candyman, cheering, in fact. And that was the story. Helen, for example, said Candyman five times in the mirror with her friend. They scavenged uh, throughout the ruins of a ghetto, looking and researching the people that got butchered throughout the days. And she discovered the true guy was Candy Man himself. Teleported her towards her apartment building, nothing but a puddle of blood she woke up upon. And there it was, a woman screaming, really bloody crib. Trying to figure out where the baby is. Carrie. Carrie has the ability to move objects. Well, these people, however, made fun of her because she didn't even know what a period was. Evil thing what teenagers did was made fun of her and threw tampons on her while she was screaming in the shower. Anyway, doing the prom, they put a bucket of pig's blood on top of a plank. However, one of the girls pulled the rope, and when Carrie was up on stage, the pig's blood poured all over her. She was screaming and sad and crying. Anyways, everybody was laughing until they meant the end. All of them died of her tragic story movie things of her mind. The Dark Knight is about this guy named Batman and the Joker. The Joker is some kind of clown, a crook, leader of a gang, many can defend the Joker and work with him. Joker wants to prove that he's better than Batman, so he could get to him, get to under his skin, get him upset. So once he finds that move, he bounces. 
He found ways to take with Batman by throwing a woman out the window. He has a bad pass. His father stuck a blade in his mouth. They say, let's put a smile on that face. Sonic the Hedgehog is about a little, nice little hedgehog that was once in the realm, but he escaped. He, in fact, went on a bugging a guy for centuries, but now he finally knew and found out what the blue devil was. John John was right, but Donut Man, he had to work with Sonic and help him and make sure that Lab Rat doesn't catch up with him. My favorite movie. Adventures of the Sonic the Hedgehog. It's a favorite cartoon of mine, well, sort of. It's about a little hedgehog, 16 years old, and a little fox that follows him around. Really good uh, episode. Dr. Robotskis. He's sort of like Tom, and Sonic is like Jerry. Also miniature uh, Jerry running beside Sonic. Tells miles per hour. At the end of the episode, there is Sonic says. Great, great uh, to teach kids and all, but some of it is really, really cheesy. Sonic Underground is about a mother abandoned three of her kids because of Robotnik, making sure that they have a stable place to stay at because he was already on hotel. So the kids need to grow up, look for their mother. Never reached the end, but they already have a concert. Sonic the Hedgehog. I prefer season one. Really, really good. I loved it. We really loved it a lot. It's awesome. It's awesome, in fact. Dr. Robotnik. Let's talk about the opening, for example. It's all beautiful. Got the city going on. Once Robotnik uh, moves his ship, everything turns to dark and smoky clouds of nothing but old rest. And each and every villager turned into robot and Sonic has to save the day by helping each and everybody and to solve the mystery by defeating Robotnik and turning the people back from robots back to who they were. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoy. Peace. Nathan Becker. Anyway, besides that logic, I am trying to get as many rings as possible. I am trying to get all the emeralds as possible so I could turn supersonic. So yeah, uh, there's going to be more videos on the way and more reviews when I play Sonic. And the Ah, damn it! I can't... Oh yeah, I had to reset this. No problemo, right? Am I right or am I wrong? You with the coconut. I'm talking to you, monkey. Anyways, though, I have to see if I could get towards that other checkpoint. Uh, so how many videos was that? That was one, two, three, four, five. So this is the fifth video, so I should call it fifth. Alright. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, Sonic here. Um, I'm trying to figure out of what checkpoint I'm going next. Oh yeah, it's probably the one in the seat. Hell, damn it! I can't believe that's always gotta happen. I, of course, I'm saving. Of course, but still, ugh. That's what. That's quite a wreck, you know. You have to get as many rings as you can. Oh yeah, in this part, I, I, I couldn't, because there's no uh, other checkpoints. Yeah. Stay awesome, bros. Peace and be. Short for Nathan Beckett.